A 4000 kg elevator accelerates vertically up at 0.25 meters per second per second. What is the tension within the cable? So here is our non-zero mass and we have the cable and we are told that it accelerates vertically up. We expect the force up to be greater than force down. What is the force up? Remember the cable, there is tension within the cable and the tension is always a pulling force. So tension acts vertically up. What acts vertically down? The gravitational force. So gravitational force acts vertically down, tension acts vertically up. So non-zero mass, 4000 kg. Is it accelerating up? Yes. Is net force up? Yes. What is the net force? MA mass in kg times acceleration in meters per second per second. We have two forces in opposite directions. Tension is a pulling force. It acts vertically up. Gravitational force acts vertically down. Net force is up. That means what? Force up has to be greater than force down. The difference gives us net force and that is MA. So tension minus gravitational force equals MA. So net force is up, common sense, bigger force minus smaller force equals net force. Do not forget, we already took into account that the gravitational force acts vertically down. Replacing G with negative 9.8 will ruin it because we already took into account the direction of the gravitational force. So bigger force minus small force equals net force because these are two forces in opposite directions. So what do we do? Add mg to both sides. So what do we get? Mass times acceleration plus mg. What is the mass? 4000. What is the acceleration? 0 0.25. What is the mass? 4000. What is g? 9.8. What is 4000 times 0 0.25? 1000. What is 4000 times 9.8? 39,200. 39,200. What do we get when we add 39,200 to 1000? 40,200. What is our answer in? It is in Newtons. So our tension is 40,200 Newtons. 40,200 Newtons. Let's use the vector sum. Do not forget, positive x is to the right, positive y is vertically up. Again, we are told that net force is up. What does that mean? That means acceleration is pointing up. Acceleration is pointing up. So tension always acts vertically up, so it is positive. Gravitational force acts vertically down, so it is negative. So that's the reason why we have a negative in front of mg. And then ma is positive because it is accelerating up. And we get the same equation, t minus mg equals ma. Add mg to both sides and you get t is equal to ma plus mg. Mass is 4000. A is, acceleration is 0 0.25. Mass is 4,000, G is 9.8, so we get the same answer, 40,200 newtons. If we are asked to draw the free body diagram, we isolate the non-zero mass and then look at the forces acting on the mass. We have the tension within the cable acting vertically up, and then we have the gravitational force acting vertically down and we have T and mg. So T is up, gravitational force is down, so T minus mg equals ma. And this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck.